Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to make responsive menu in Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is we have to install the plugin. So for that, I'm going to simply click on add new plugin. And here we have to search for Elementor, header and footer. Alright, so as you can see here, we have Elementor, header and footer builder. So we have to install this. So I have already installed and activated this. So after that, what I need to do, I'll simply go into the appearance and click on the Elementor header and footer builder. All right. So here, what I need to do, I'll just simply click on add new. And here I will simply write down header that would be customized. All right. So now I have to select the type of the template. So that will be the header. And now you can see this, I have the option of display on. So where I'd want to display this header. So I can simply select a single page or the multiple pages or the complete website. So I would select here entire website. And after this, what I would need to do, I'll just simply click on publish. All right. So now I will simply click on edit with Elementor. All right. So as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor and here we will simply build our customized header and also it will be the responsive. Okay. So first we need to start with the container. So we have the three column structure. Perfect. Now I need to change the content width to the full width. And now what I need to do here. So the first thing that I would need to do, I would simply change the background color of our containers. So I would actually go here with something, a kind of, uh, let's see what we have here. So I think I would go here kind of pinkish color. Okay. That is looking fine. I guess we'll have something dark here. Not exactly that one. Alright, so this is looking fine. So I'm going to go with this color. And after this, what I need to do. So the first thing that I need to do is to add the image. And in the image, we're going to have our logo. So let's click here. And we'll simply choose our logo. So that would be in the white color. So let's click on select. And you will be able to see our logo here. And the first thing is that I need to change the width of our logo. Okay, so I think this would look fine. 35 would look fine. Okay, so after this, what I need to do, I have to use the navigation menu. All right, so you can see here that we have the navigation menu here by header footer builder. So let's just drag this and put this here. All right, so here you can see that we have our menu and we have the layout. So first, let's just try to change the color of our menu here. Okay, so here what I need to do, I have to change the color of it. So that would be a white color. And I think this would look fine. And I can also add the color on the hover effect. So that would be, that might be a kind of grayish color. All right. I think this is looking fine right now. So we're going to go back into the content and go into the layout. Okay. So here the alignment would be into the center. And after this, we have the sub menu icon. We have the sub menu animation. Since we don't have any sub menu, we won't be able to see any option here. Okay, so after this, we have the responsiveness. So what is the breakpoint here? So the breakpoint would be the mobile screen, not the tablet screen. Okay, so I think this is looking fine. And you can see here in the layout, we have the different options. We have the horizontal, we have the vertical, we have the flyout, and we also have the expanded. So if you wanted to make your menu a vertical, you can simply do this from here. But we don't want to select the vertical here. So that would be the horizontal. Okay, so in the last, I would actually add the button here. So let's drag this and put this here. Okay, and the first thing that I would need to do, I would simply change the text here. So that would be contact us. All right. And I would like to put this into center. Perfect. And I would also like to change the padding of it. So that would be zero. Okay, though so I have to add the 10 padding maybe. Or maybe we can go here with 15. Okay, so this is looking fine. And one thing I would need to do here, I would basically change the background color of our button. Okay, so let's just change the background color of it. So the background color would be white and our text color would be similar like our, like our background color. Okay, so I think that would look fine. And uh, I still need to decrease the padding from the top and the bottom. Okay, so let's just change the value here from the bottom and the top. So this would be 10. And the top would also be 10. Okay, so now this is looking better. And I can also increase or decrease the border radius if I wanted to. Perfect. All right, so now what we need to do, I have to put these things into the center, centrally aligned. Okay, 
so from here i can put this into the center now i think everything is aligned center so also this one as well but this is already centered and also this one also the logo okay so now everything is aligned centrally and one thing i would need to do i can increase the size of our button maybe so let's see if i can go here with 20 on the right side and 20 on the left side okay so i think this is looking fine we can go with this one all right so let's just update this okay so this design would only work on the desktop and the tablet version so if i just click here on the responsive mode and you can see this right now we are on the desktop version so if i just click on on the tablet version you can see this we have the design for the tablet version but obviously i need to adjust the sizing here and for the mobile version we're gonna have something different here okay so if i just click here uh it won't make the things look good so i need to adjust this as well so we're gonna go back to our tablet version and we need to adjust our sizing here so for the width i would increase the size maybe to the 60 okay and for the menu i would basically decrease the size of our text so let's just click here on the typography and i would decrease the size of our button so let's just increase it from here okay so i think this is looking fine and we can also adjust the contact button but i think the contact button is looking better so we don't need to do anything here but i would like to increase the size of our menu so that would be with a 15 okay so one thing that i can do here i would change the width of our logo so that can be maybe 20 percent so i would go here with the 20 percent maybe less than that okay so this will be the 20 percent and i would also like to change the width of the contact button the container of the contact button not exactly the contact button so this would be the 20 percent as well all right and now i would also change the width of our container of the menu so this will be 60 percent all right so now this is looking better uh, we can increase the size of our logo okay so this is looking fine and now i think it is responsive on the tablet version as well okay so one thing that we can do here we can also add the zero pairing to our main container so let's just try to do that if that looks good i think we are good with the default values okay and in the last we have to adjust this with the mobile version okay but for that we're gonna do a trick here because if i try to go with this one you can see here we do have our hamburger icon but you can see this the options are not looking really great okay so for that i have to do i have to do a trick here okay so we're gonna go back here into our mobile version and i will use the navigator and basically i will simply duplicate this container so now we have the two same container okay let me just close this okay but the difference is that in here i will change one thing i will change the layout of the menu so if i just click here on the menu and if i just click here on the layout so i will just change this into the flyout and you will see our icon here so let me just change the color of the icon so if i just click on the color you can see this we can change the color from here so we're gonna have the white color and i will also like to remove this contact as button because i don't need this so let's just delete this okay and now one thing that i need to do is to adjust the width of the remaining containers so for the first one i would go here with 25 so i think it is already 25 and for the second one i would go here with the 75 percent okay so now this is looking better and if i just click this you will be able to see we will be having this kind of the menu so this will only be for the mobile version okay so i have to change the color of it okay let's just try to change the color here so this would be the black color okay and uh, i think we can go here with also the pinkish color that we use for the background that would look better okay so this is looking fine and we can also change the background color so for the background color i won't go with a complete white color maybe i can try here a kind of pinkish color here okay that is looking fine and i can change the text color to the white again or maybe the black yeah that is that is fine right and i would also change the background color to a darker version mm, okay this is not looking better okay so here i will just simply copy the color from here so let's click here on here on our main container go into the style click on the color simply copy the color from here now I just simply click on this 
and change the color here okay so now this is looking fine now what i can do here i can simply change the text color so let's just change the text color now this is looking better and we can also adjust the padding and so let's just do the padding here or maybe the vertical padding all right so now this is looking better and we can also increase the space padding if you wanted to but i think this is looking fine and uh, let's just add the space from the top okay so this is better now okay so i think i can also align this into the center yeah this is looking fine all right now what we need to do i think it is perfect so let's close this all right so now we have our main menu and we also have for the mobile version so for the main menu so if i just click here on the navigator first i will select our main menu and for the main menu i will go into the advanced setting and from here you will be able to see the option of the responsive so i would disable this menu in the mobile portrait because for the mobile portrait we have created this one so now if i just click on the second one that is especially for the mobile version i would go into the advanced setting now would go into the responsive so that will be hidden from the template portrait on the desktop version as well okay so now if i change to the mobile version okay you can see here that we have this design right now so we won't be able to see this on our mobile version because this is hidden uh, okay so i have to do some adjustment here so i have to change the width of our logo container so this will be 50 percent and for the second option this would also be 50 percent now this is looking better all right and i think i can also decrease the width of it or maybe the padding of it so let's put the padding to the zero Oh, I think I would go here with the default values. Okay, this is perfect. So let's update this. I think so we have done everything here. So now we're going to go back to our website. And now let's click on visit site. Now you'll be able to see our menu here. Okay, so you can see this. We have all the options. So if I just change to the different version or the different screen. So let's click here. All right. So this is how this will look on the tablet version or the tablet screen. And if I just change the screen to the mobile screen. Alright, so this is how it is looking on the mobile version. But one thing that I can do here just to adjust the alignment of our hamburger. So I would basically decrease the width of it. So this will be 20% only. And for our logo, that would be 80%. And I would decrease the width of our logo. So I would need to change the size here. Okay, so this is looking fine. And this is on the right side. This is perfect. So let's update this. Now let's go back, refresh this. Now you'll be able to see we have our logo and we have our hamburger on the opposite side. Now this is looking fine. So if I just click on this, you will be able to see our menu on our mobile version. Okay, so this is looking fine. Okay, so we have successfully created the responsive menu. But in the end, I would also like to add one thing here. So if I just close this. So one thing that I want you to add is that how can we connect our buttons or the menu options with the different pages okay so we're gonna first go into our header into the elementor all right so to connect the button with the page it's really easy you just have to click on the button and here you can see here we have the link here so if you wanted to add the link of any page you simply paste the link here okay so for that we're gonna go inside the dashboard and from here i'll just simply click on the pages and click on the all pages Okay, so you can see here we have a bunch of different pages here. So we wanted to connect it with the contact as a button. So let's see if we have the contact page. All right. So we have the contact page. So how can we connect this with the button? That is really easy. Let's just click on the view on our contact page. So this is our contact page. So how can I connect this with this button? That is really easy. I will just simply copy the link of this page and I would go into the Elementor editor. And I will just simply paste the link here. All right. So this is how we can link a page with a button. So if I just update this, and if I just go back to our main page, and if I just refresh this, all right. So now if I just click on the contact us button, we will be redirected to our contact page. So this is how you can link a page with a button. But if I wanted to link this with the menu options here, so that is also really easy. First, we have to go inside the dashboard. And then we have to go inside the menus. And you can see this, we have all the options that we see on our header. Okay, so I would simply like to add the contact page link here. So I would just simply click on the contact option here. 
and you can see here we have the navigation label that is contact and if I wanted to create the custom URL okay to the custom page I would just simply click on the custom links and from here first thing that I would do here is add the custom URL and after here I will simply add the link text and that would be added to our menu so let's do this I'll just simply paste the URL of the contact page since we already have the contact menu option in our menu so I'll simply write down contact to just to differentiate so let's click on add to menu and save menu and now I will simply go back here refresh the page now you will be able to see the contact to option here okay so first let's go to the home page and now let's click on the contact to menu option and now we will be redirected to the contact page so this is how we can connect the button or the menu option with the different pages so this is all for this video if you really find this useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel